Hello world and welcome to my channel. We're loading into Margaritaville Resort, Orlando. Now it does say Orlando, but it is actually in Kissimmee. They just say Orlando, but I guess because that's the biggest city that it's near. Um, so we're gonna go check out this awesome resort. It's really clean and absolutely gorgeous. It feels like a high-end resort and I know it's cloudy. It's been perfectly sunny this whole time I've been here and the day I decide to do a YouTube video, it gets cloudy and looks like it's about to rain. So hope you forgive me on that. We're gonna check out all the pools, the hot tubs, volleyball court, some of the restaurants and shops and the lobby and the room. I'm gonna give you a room tour as well. So let's go check this out. So when you come in through the front doors, you get greeted by a really awesome lobby. And this is where you want to check in right there where the magic finger is pointing. They have a huge screen behind them to make it look like you're in like Key West or something. It is an absolutely gorgeous lobby and I just can't say enough about it. We were blown away when we came in. The lobby has a small arcade in it. It's not much, but it's fun. I saw some people in here enjoying it earlier. They also have a business center here at Margaritaville Resort inside the lobby. The lobby also contains two different restaurants. One of them's called Euphoria, and it's more like, they have breakfast foods here, but it's more of your fancy dinners and things. Like you've got lobster bisque, um, salads, different pastas you can see on the menu there. And then there's a place called Provisions, and it's more of like your quick service type place. It's right next door to Euphoria, and both are pretty top dollar. It looks like the average price for food here at Euphoria is $30. The average price of food that we've been paying at Provisions is probably around 25 to 30, and that's for two people. Here's Provisions. Like I said before, it's a quick service type of place. They have hamburgers and uh, different little quick foods they can give you, like sandwiches. They have yogurt and salads also. They, and they have really nice outdoor seating that faces the pool. Margaritaville store is located in the lobby as well, and they're going to sell just clothes, shoes, and different little souvenirs you might want to take with you. The elevator comes right out these doors, walks right down here, and we are gonna be room 315. So let's go check out this room, it's really nice. Let's scan our card. Here's what it looks like before we tear it up. Starting off, you have some closet space here for your clothes and your jackets and stuff. There is a little seating area with some hooks to hang some things on. There's also a safe inside the closet that I just caught and an iron. And you have some robes. All right, let's go into where you sleep. This is your sleeping area. Two queen beds, that's the room we have. Two queen beds with a pool view. Really nice furniture and decorations. Got a place to sit there. What is this? Here's the tablet I skipped over earlier. It's got a, a little radio on it. You can listen to alternative rock. You can set alarms. It tells you what the weather's gonna be and you can call room service from it. There's also a little mail icon. I guess that's in case they wanna send you some mail from the front desk, but I've never seen a tablet before in a room, so that's pretty neat. All right, and they come with a Keurig coffee machine. They have some K-cups there. What's in here? A little mini fridge. The bathroom is really nice. It's got a pull out mirror here, two sinks. It's one of the, wow, look at this. It's got like dolphin fins or mermaid fins. All right, tiled shower. There is no bathtub in our um, room. There's an overhead shower. And here's the bathroom, the toilet. Everything is absolutely spotless. You have nothing to worry about if you're nervous about stuff being dirty, like I am. Let's see what's in here. There's a hair dryer, extra toilet paper, and a trash can. And there's your extra towels as well. All in all, I have absolutely nothing to complain about this place. It may be a little small, but I would stay here a hundred times. <laughs> Let's show the balcony now. The Two queen bed comes with a balcony out here that you can look over the pool in. 
And I guess I will be showing you that later. I like to do those in the morning so I don't catch anyone that doesn't want to be on camera too close. There's the pool and our view. Comes with two chairs and a little table here. It's a good view. If you're wondering how you get in the pool, they have two sets of stairs at this pool and they have ladders as well. So whatever you need, they have available. Don't forget they have lounge chairs. They are spaced out apart from each other now. Picnic tables and cabanas to rent if you wanna do that. It's a good way to escape the sun. I almost forgot to show you, they do have restrooms on the, at the pool in case you need to use them. You do not need to go back to your room. Now I'm gonna show you the other two pools that they have. And these pools are pretty cool because they have sand on them. So I don't know why I've never been to a pool like that, but you may think it's pretty neat. So I'm gonna show it to you. The first pool we're gonna see is on the left side as soon as you leave provisions. And they have a pool table underneath some shades uh, with some lounge chairs. And they have a bar and grill over here, so you don't need to leave the pool if you want to get something to drink or get some food. And if you can see back in this area right here, they still have those guest towels and life jackets. So this is pool number two. They have a walk-in section, so you don't even have to worry about stairs. But if you want to use the stairs, they're right there in the left. And they still have the same cabanas and the lounge chairs and stuff that we talked about at the other pool. Now, if you pan over here to the left, you can see that there is a second pool. And in this section right there, there is a big hot tub. And I'm not gonna go over there and film that because there's people in it. And I think it's kind of rude to go over there and shove a camera in their face. But this pool is an exact duplicate of this pool. It's the same sand, same walk-in area. It's just really nice to be out here with the, the bar and grill and everything. And lots of pools so you don't feel crowded. Pools were nice, weren't they? I told you so. I told you so. Don't even act like you, did, you weren't prepared for that. Do you see all these multicolored houses behind me? People actually live there, but they can also rent them out to guests. So I'm not gonna be able to show you what those look like because we don't have a cottage uh, rental here. And we certainly don't own one of these places. They usually go for three to $500,000. I've even seen one in here up to one and a half million bucks. But how nice would it be to be able to live here and get access to all the pools and the weight room and all the restaurants that they have? I wonder what that HOA fee's like. Here's a dog park over here. I really doubt you're able to bring a dog to the resort area, but you might be able to bring one over to the cottage area if you're renting one of them out. Another interesting thing to note is that this resort is 3.2 miles from Walt Disney World. That wraps things up for us here at Margaritaville Resort. I hope you enjoyed the room tour and the resort tour and enjoyed seeing the pools and just everything this resort has to offer. So I've got three things I'd like to ask from you now in return. If you enjoyed the video or if it helped you, please hit the thumbs up button. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. And if you enjoyed my video, please subscribe because I do a lot of resort tours and just theme parky stuff, just general vacation things. For now, it's going to be game over.